enough is a very tricky question. <laughs> Assuming EPF can give you 100,000 a year, so to you is enough. Fair. No, nobody doubt about that. Well, 100,000 is enough. But, but the challenge is that if EPF continue to give you 100,000 and not more next year, next two years, next three years, with the inflation rate and the, pri the prices of the goods and services continue to increase, then for that matter, it may not be enough anymore. Okay? So for that matter, that's why I say, do not just take whatever planning that you have got for your expenses based on the face value. Factor in inflation factor, you know, and then you will see very soon that 100,000 may not be sufficient. And importantly, is so when you factor in inflation, do not be too kind to yourself. Don't put 2%, put 6%, put 7%. No, then, then only you put your financial position to a extreme test. You no, know? just like our, we do our heart stress test, then we know how much our heart can take it, and in this case, how much your financial position can take it. Then only you have a more realistic picture about expenses, about maintaining your retirement lifestyle. There are two types of trust that's commonly used in Malaysia. One we call it testamentary trust, which is a trust whereby it's created in the view. So say for example, when some client they are, they are still young and the children are so young, maybe five or six years old, uh, they are concerned that if you give money to them uh, at the age of 18 in the case of Malaysia, then they may not be able to manage the money well. So they want to put a trust into it to say that when I, my son or my children uh, age 18, they will receive maybe 30% of their entitlement. Then when they are 25 years old, they will receive another 30%. And then another balance when they are 30 years old, something like that. So this is an example to, to stagger the distribution using a real instrument. Another trust is what we call a living trust, whereby is set up with no connection to the will. You just set it up now, go to the trustee, set it up. Then you inject an asset into it and most of the situation, it'll be cash. Okay, so for example, a one million cash trust set up now. Normally, the people who do that, the people either has got a lot of wealth and somehow they want to diversify from the real distribution, instead of a trust. And of course, some people set up a trust, a living trust like this, to protect themselves from liability exposure as well because that will help to protect that money inside the trust. So these are another situation uh, where people use a trust. If money is important to you, please remember to subscribe to my channel.